Hi, my name is Bobby Jordan, and I'd like to tell you a story that changed my life. When I first came to California, uh, I had a very good friend who lived in a tiny community, and she's the person who told me this story, so I have it secondhand. At that time, a young priest came to that community, and we're going to call him by the name of John. It was a small community, and they were thrilled to have a young priest with new ideas who was an exciting person and, and brought that Catholic Church to life. The community was so happy about this that they got together and they redid the parish hall. The men who were carpenters put new wood in the house, and the plumbers redid the plumbing, and one man was a tile person, so the bathroom was tiled in a beautiful sage green tile, and the community went out of its way to make this a wonderful living place for this young priest. Well, my friend, who was married with three young children, and had a husband who had a small business, didn't have a lot of money. She didn't work. And so she had to scrimp and to save from her grocery money and from other money coming in to give her present to the priest for the rectory. She bought towels for the bathroom. She went shopping until she found exactly the right shade of green, and they were very expensive towels. And she was so proud of her gift and wrapped it carefully and took it to him and said, Here, Father, this is my gift for the rectory. He smiled, he was very pleased, and he knew that she was giving him the gift out of love. About a year later, my friend went to Annie's house. Annie was a woman who had just lost her son, and so all the women in the community were taking casseroles and giving comfort because the son was a young boy, and Annie was, was quite depressed. While my friend was there, she went into Annie's bathroom, and hanging in the bathroom were the very towels that she had bought for the priest. She looked at them and couldn't believe her eyes. She knew they were Annie's. Annie didn't have any money. And besides, Annie's bathroom was salmon. Who would have picked green towels? She went back out. She didn't say a word to Annie. Instead, the next day, she went to the rectory, knocked on the door, had a small conversation with Father, and then said, I don't understand. I was over at Annie's yesterday, and I saw the towels that I gave you hanging in her bathroom. My father said, yes, that's right. And my friend said, but I worked hard for those. And, and I, I saved my money, and I stripped, and I saved so I could give you this gift. And your father looked her in the eye and said, but my dear, Anne needed them. And that's when I had that wonderful recognition that only comes once in a lifetime that there was a great lesson to be learned here. And the lesson is this. When you give a gift, it is gone. You give it, you give it to the person that you love, and then you let go of it. You let it be. If that person, be it your Aunt Tilly, your best friend, wants to take that gift and give it away the very next day, that's just fine. Because you have given, not the object, but your love. That was an important lesson for me to learn that day, and that's my story.